Hello friends and welcome back to the shop. <laughs> Today is Sunday, December 4th and this is take two. I'll explain in a minute. It is a cold day here in southeastern Pennsylvania and uh, I am tired <laughs> and not, not firing on all cylinders apparently. I just recorded uh, a 20 minute video that when I looked at it, it was nothing but the intro music and that picture. <laughs> so <laughs> that was fun. We'll try this again. Uh, I am a little burned out. Uh, yesterday we, we had uh, the auction for a friend and uh, it was a lot of work and then today I had to get through all the paperwork and that's been frying me a bit. But I wanted to make this video to to thank everyone involved. So you've probably seen in previous videos or my post on Instagram what, what is going on here. But uh, we have a friend in our community who is has hit a bad time and is, uh, to be blunt, facing eviction uh, at the end of next week. And this is not someone that just popped up. This is someone I've known for a while. This is someone that many of you uh, might know. Um, a lot of people have contacted me and said, is it this person? Is it that person? They've all been wrong. So if you think you know who this is, it's probably not. <laughs> and it doesn't matter. They, they didn't want to, you know, this to be a public thing and that's fine. But I've been talking to them about this issue for, you know, I, I believe over a month now. I've been praying and praying with them and, and you know, listening to some of the things that they've tried to do to avoid this. And they're trying hard, you know, they're, they're not, they're not just giving up, they're trying, still trying. Um, and I said, you know, would it be okay if I did this? And they said, sure, if you want to. And I was, you know, so I went, looked for what tobacco I had that might be of interest. I found a couple of tins of tobacco and I thought, well, I'll throw in my pipe number two. I, I was a little hesitant about that because, you know. It's my second pipe. It's the third one I've made, but the, the second one I'm actually calling a pipe. Uh, but I thought maybe that would raise some interest. And, you know, I threw that together and I said, anybody else want to donate? And you know, within 24 hours, I was absolutely swamped between YouTube and Instagram. It was both communities. We had, uh, we auctioned off yesterday, I believe it was 42 lots. And 42 lots, some of them were single items, some of them were six items. So, you know, it was, it was a mix. But there were 42 things that were auctioned. Uh, and those came from both the Instagram pipe community and the YouTube pipe community in about 24 hours. I was flabbergasted. And in honesty, I, I was, it was so much and so overwhelming and, and so confusing that there was one person, uh, a YouTube member, that very generously do donated a nice lot of tobacco and I forgot and I did not include it in the auction I feel really bad about that but you know, I've apologized to them and, and you know thanked them for their, their generosity so altogether we, we auctioned for th about three hours yesterday and to give you an idea of how wonderful this community is both communities I don't want to leave out Instagram because they play a big role in this we had uh, about 70 some people at one point in the auction and when it ended after about three hours there were still 50 some close to 60 people for three hours oh man i could i could i actually had to take a bathroom break in the middle of it that's how long it went uh it was quite a day and i was i was wiped out after this uh really wiped out but it was wonderful so altogether, I went through all the, the paperwork this morning and numbers and everything, and we raised, uh, oh, darn it, I moved the sheet. So I don't have the number now. Because it was take two. Okay, we raised a total of, in, in just in the auction, we raised $3,067. The number is odd. I was doing $10 increments, but the number is odd because there were some, you know, PayPal subtracted from some folks that didn't use the friends and family. But... I'll, we'll take care of that and I'll explain in a minute. So $3,067 in auction and $385 in uh, donations. And that totals up to $3,452. And I'm going to round that up to $3,500 and uh, get a check out to our friend 
uh, hopefully by Tuesday. Uh, the only delay, the reason there's a delay is I have to get the money out of PayPal into my bank account. There's a fee associated with that as well, but again, I'm, I'm just going to ro roll it up to 3500 And then I'm going to have to move... My bank account doesn't have checks. That's my pipe account. So i got to withdraw the money and go to a different bank and deposit it in my home account so then I can write a check and I can send it out. So hopefully I can get that all done tomorrow in time to get it to the post office, but i got to work tomorrow too. Uh, we'll see how that goes. If not, it'll go out on Tuesday. And we'll use uh, Priority Mail to make sure he gets it in time. So $3,500, this will... Um, I, I sp spoke to him yesterday, and first off, he's very grateful and thankful. And, uh, you know, I, I believe a bit overwhelmed by it. I certainly am. Uh, that will pay off the back rent, prevent him from being evicted, and get him through to February, uh, which is wonderful, because that'll give him time to get back on his feet, get a job, uh, and be able to continue on with his life. So, you know, this is not somebody that's, you know, sometimes you help someone, you know, you see that guy uh, sitting on a street corner and, you know, you give him some money and you think, well, you know, did I really help him or did I just prolong his, uh, his difficulty? You know, how do you really help someone? Well, this is a case where we really help someone. This is someone that has been trying really, really hard to avoid this. Uh, never asked for this. I, I suggested it. Uh, and they, you know, somewhat reluctantly agreed, and, and that's why we're not using a name. Uh, they've done everything they could, and they're going to continue to do everything they can, and I know they're going to be successful. I know they're going to get through this, and they just need a little bit of help. And, you know, that's what we're all about. You know, that's... that's. It, I know not all of my, my viewers are Christian, and uh, not all of you are religious. I've got some uh, devout atheists in the audience. I use the word devout to tease them. Uh, it doesn't matter. You know, you, you, I think even the hard, hardest core atheist will recognize that there's value in the writings and philosophy that come out of some religions, or all religions, to some extent. And they may not accept everything, but they accept that there's value there. Um, and if you're a Christian, you know, uh, I believe it's in, in the Acts, um, we are called to uh, live together as a community and support one another. And how do you do that? You know, on a, on a global scale, a national scale, a, a you know, city scale, your church scale, how do you do that? It's hard. In fact, I think it's impossible. It's impossible because on a large scale that that's communism and we know communism doesn't work it's, it's fraught with problems it leads to corruption um, so what are we really called to do well we're called to live together and support one another and share but not everything and not completely because it just doesn't work but when we see someone in need that's when we open our hearts and we open our wallets and we open our homes and we, we, we take care of one another and that was, you know, I witnessed that yesterday, and I do not know, you know I, I know Judaism a bit because Christianity grew out from, from that. Um, I, don't, I don't know Islam at all. Uh, I certainly don't know much about uh, Hindu beliefs or, or Buddhist beliefs other than, you know, some of the comparative religious studies I've done. But I think that they all have a similar understanding of the need to be kind and supportive to one another. And... Uh, Yesterday, this community, YouTube and Instagram, proved that we live that. We live that as Christians, we live that as Jews, we live that as Muslims, we live that as people, as, as just human beings. And it's a wonderful thing. And I am so proud to be a part of this, this community. I really am. Uh, you know, I had very little that I could do because... Uh, my wife and I are very blessed and, you know, we're, we're, we're very stable and, and solid in, in our financial situation, but we've had a lot of unexpected expenses over, over the past month or so. Uh, my dad passing and my brother and sister in Vermont are not in, in a great place. I don't want to get into that, but they're going to have some trouble and we, you know, so we had financial 
um, responsibilities that we had to deal with just around my dad's passing. And now there's, we know there's going to be additional. Uh, my wife's, my in-laws, uh, her mom getting hurt, my wife needing to go out there to take care of them, you know, the expense associated with that. And, and, you know, the fact that we're, I'm grocery shopping, she's grocery shopping, you know, and the bills have to get paid. And, and there was very little that I could do. And I did what I could, you know, I did, I did help them out a bit, but I just couldn't do much more. So I said, okay, I got some tobacco. I, I got this pipe number two, which maybe somebody will want. And God, I hope I did the right thing there. I'm so worried about sending that pipe out into the world, but uh, we'll see. And I, I said, you know, this is what I've got. Does anybody else want to chip something in? I was expecting four or five things and, you know, 42 lots uh, in 24 hours. Just unbelievable. And what a great auction it was. And we, we auctioned off uh, some tobaccos that are essentially unobtainiums. You know, they're, they're, they're beyond unicorn blends, things you're never going to see. Uh, we auctioned off um, a lot of, of more recent blends. I hope you don't mind. I'm going to repack here because it is take two. We auctioned off some more recent uh, offerings. You know, that, that, you know, donated just out of the blue. Maybe I can smoke this a bit more. Just mix it up a little. Out of the blue from people I've never met, uh, companies I, I've never met, uh, never had any dealings with. I'm, I don't know if I said this or not, but there were three Dun three 1960-era Dunhills in the auction. Man, there were some good deals there. And the highlight of the auction for me is that my cane rod pipes number two, which never was supposed to leave my shop, <laughs> sold for more than the Dunhills. <laughs> so I quit my job, and I'm going to be a full-time pipe maker now. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> But uh, that went out to, to uh, or will go out to Edwin. Uh, and Edwin, thank you for taking a chance on that. And please provide constructive criticism. But thank you to everybody. Uh, you know, thank you to all the folks that, that donated. You're wonderful. And uh, I, I, I'm just, I was overwhelmed at the outpouring. Uh, thank you to everybody that bid, uh, that bid and won, uh, that bid and didn't win, to, to everybody that just showed up to watch, and to all of you that are watching now, uh, thank you all so very much for making this community, this pipe community, whether it be Instagram or YouTube, such a wonderful, strong, solid uh, group. It's really a wonderful thing. Well, folks, I've got to get on with the day. I've got to start sending emails to people letting them know who to ship to because I just finally got through all of the squaring with with uh, PayPal and and getting the books in order to that extent now I gotta send the addresses and then wait for the tracking information and then get the tracking information out to the bidders ah it's a lot of work wonderful job but it's a lot of work so I will do that I will get the, the check out to our friend uh, hopefully Monday, Tuesday at the latest. And I will see you again in the not too distant future, hopefully Friday evening, live stream, 8 p.m. Eastern. So with that, friends, I hope you're having a great Sunday. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now. Mm -hmm.